Hello, welcome back to Mover Ruins Movies. Today we're going to take a look at one scene from Tomorrow Never Dies with an L39. Let us begin. <laughs> We have launched the missile. Four minutes, eight seconds. White Knight, four minutes to impact. Get out of there. This White Knight. I know what it is. It's on the screen in front of me. It's a genius. He's a redditor. Now get the hell out of there. What the hell is going on? You will not wait. That's an order. You shall not pass. What is wrong with his face? Oh He's got a big dip in his mouth. Soviet SP-5 nuclear torpedoes. Nope, those are L-39 ZAs. Right? It's been a while since I've done any L-39 stuff, but the armed ones are the Z. ZA. Missile. Nope. American components, Russian components. All made in Taiwan. This base sucks. No hangers, no ready room, no popcorn. Just a dude punching you in the face. The Russians are really slumming it out in the mountains out here. Where's the runway? What is the runway? What the hell is he doing? His job. Nope. Blowing up all of the launchers. He's going for the bombers. Uh, L-39 is not a bomber, sir. Shooter, chop! Who's this guy? Well, he just got punched in the face. Sucks through the wizzo. You're just hanging out in the back seat. You don't even know what's going on. All of a sudden, somebody punches you in the face with a helmet. He throws a grenade. No oxygen mask. I'll allow it. Who needs oxygen? Technique only, really. Is that an aphid? So, this was the old Iron Eagle argument, right? Can they shoot on the ground? Well, the weight on wheel switch might prevent that, but perhaps some of the switches he's flipping in Russian are allowing him to bypass the weight on wheel switch, which is allowing him to shoot the rockets and the missiles and the gun and all that stuff. We'll allow it. He's James Bond. Really austere conditions here. This guy. So those switches he just flipped had nothing to do with the engine, so don't know why that made it sound like it started the engines, but whatever. Okay, that is the worst runway in the history of all the runways. Do you take off down or up? Okay, so you go to the end and you take off up. That seems opposite of I don't I don't know. I've never landed on a forty five degree decline or incline run. There is no afterburner on L thirty nine of any flavor. If you're got a big flame out the back, you're on fire. This is before they realized oxygen masks could you could still recognize who the actor was. Oh, we didn't run the toll data, sir. Take off and landing data, data. Straight out of Independence Day. In three, two, one. There it is. Best fighter pilot in the world. Uh oh. So I'm not 100% sure this is realistic because I think there's a plastic thing in between the front and back seats. But maybe the 
Russian version. Well, they're all Russian, but maybe this version took it out, so that makes sense. But luckily, because he's not flying all that great, he's doing his aileron rolls, which are jinx, which are actually helping him. So, works out. I love that HUD. Like the worst HUD in existence. And the RWR is just a big red flashy light, like a clown nose. Of course, all you have to do if you're ever in a situation like this is just roll out of the way. A missile will not guide or fuse or track. Just roll out of the way. Uh-oh. Arm the seat, Wizzo. You're the last flare. Do it. Yeah. All right. In concept slash theory, I love this idea. It looks like it's not a hot shot. But in reality, there's no way to punch out the back seater from the front seat and not eject yourself in the process. So, but I'll allow it because, you know, that's what was over for. And then he says something cool at the end. What is not to love about James Bond? And now he's got, oh, nope, we're in burner now. Nope. All right, short but sweet. What did we learn? Well, uh, if you're ever on a mountain runway, take off uphill, not downhill. Physics be damned. Um, if you aileron roll, you can avoid gunshots and missiles at any time. And if somebody's choking you while you're flying, just eject them into the guy that's shooting at you, and all will be forgiven. Because why not? This is the 90s. Actually, you know what? They'd probably do something like this today, but... Cool. All right. You guys asked for this one. There it is. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.